if you are on iOS 16 beta, there might be some bugs and issues here and there in the software that might be directly responsible for ruining your software experience. So watch this video till the end to know how you can jump from iOS 16 developer beta or maybe public beta to the new, fresh and much better iOS 16 stable update. The very first thing that you need to keep in mind whenever you are upgrading or downgrading your software is that always, always, always take a full-fledged backup of your device. It doesn't matter where exactly you're taking backup, let it be your Windows PC, let it be your Mac, let it be uh, iCloud, it doesn't actually matter but it's just you know recommended that you should take a backup. Now that you have done that, let's move ahead. The very first thing that you need to do is remove beta profile from your device. So just go to settings, tap on journal and tap on VPN and device management. Now tap on beta profile and tap on remove profile. Now tap on remove. Now tap on restart on the prompt and let your device restart. And once your device restarts, once again go into settings, tap on journal and tap on software update. Wait for your iPhone to detect the new software update and when it does, tap on download and install. Now just sit for a while and let your iPhone process a few things. So that is it. Do let me know what are your thoughts about the new and fresh iOS 16. Me personally, I'm very excited to try it out on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. If you like this video, then do subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and make sure you download the iGeeks blog app from the App Store if you like to stay updated with everything Apple. This is me here signing off and I'll see you in the next one.